sorry, has purchased several floors in the base of this building. Um, it will become the gateway to Ryerson University, which is very exciting. We've got, um, you know, tonight we started off the evening just to recap with, uh, with what some of our purchasers have to say about us. And we played a video um, that uh, really describes uh, sort of how people live in our building. So we'll play it again so everybody can see. I've been living in Toronto for the better part of 15 years now. I'm a proud Torontonian. Absolutely love this city and, and love what it's become. You know, and even when you walk into a Crestford building, it almost feels larger than life. It, it feels like you're in New York sometimes. Everything about it is just spectacular, and I love their buildings. You know, a higher end living, functional living, in a really great space, uh, in a really great part of Toronto. They also think about people that are maybe waiting in the lobbies and what their experiences are as soon as they come in as guests. It's elegant, it's luxurious, and you can see that the builder, the developers, companies really take pride in, in their product. When I was looking for a building to move into, I wanted more than just an apartment. I wanted a lifestyle. And just the grandness of the building, I think Casa has provided so many of those luxuries far beyond just a beautiful apartment. Buildings around the world, such as buildings in New York, Paris, and London, and the way the classroom building really feels and presents itself, I've never seen anything like it. The quality of the building, the quality of the unit, has kept me and retained me as a valued client to Crestwood. You can have a, a family life here. I live here with my kids. So you can really have a, a full life here, but you're also in a stylish environment. By working there and living here, I understand more as a condo living person, do I need this kitchen space? How big do I need my bedroom? So in terms of only designing our next building, because I live here, so I always know and try to make the best of every suite. When I think of Crestford, I think of trust. Simple and sophisticated. Call it great product. A luxury experience. It's not an impersonal environment. It's a personable, good, stylish environment. showcases where the site's going to be. So we ask you to turn your eyes again on the screens around you uh, so you can see what we're all here to talk about tonight. Thank you. Over the last decade, we have been focused on finding the best locations, design, quality, and delivery. And the result has been successful for everyone who believed in Crestford.
So, um, just so you can understand, we've just stood up in front of a group of... About a, a thousand, twelve hundred people. <laughs> and we're sorry that we're doing this for a second time. So, um, where to start? We, in order to sort of get you going to understand what the building's going to be. The building is an 85 story tall and 299 meter tall building. The tower sits on a podium, 15 stories high, that will encompass three levels of retail, four levels of institutional space that will include Ryerson as an owner and tenant, and a future connection from Ryerson's new space and Jorgensen Hall, located east of our site so students can travel indoors to campus. The building will feature a full array of amenities, including an indoor pool, large gym, several lounges, theater, salon, library, and guest suites. The first floor with residents being released today starts on the 15th floor, which is not typical for most buildings. The building will feature high and low elevator banks, the first five elevators servicing floors up to the 48th floor, and the next set of four elevators servicing 49th floor and up. The suites on the southeast corner east and north will enjoy outdoor space with the addition of balconies. So since some of the renderings when we were originally going through the zoning, we were featuring the building slightly changed. In my opinion for the better because we will have some spaces that have balconies. The address will be 373 Young Street, so it will feature a Young Street address. And the views are very rare. It's very rare to be able to buy in a residential building that has amazing views for all units. People always pay a premium to own units that have unobstructed views, making the value of this building enjoy a premium in the long term for, for all directions. The views. To the south of us is the helicopter zone, which, which will allow no further real tall building development to occur south of our site. So for the long term, you'll, you'll be pretty much sitting proud on your own, enjoying the views. To the east is Ryerson and the campus, so from a development standpoint, the university will be a long-term investment there. So, I mean, the building will have views all around. The suites. In line with all Pressford product, the floor plans are square and functional. We have maximized all the usable space and incorporated all the features that the current market demands. Over time, we really have learned what drives the best resale and rental rates. Two bedrooms, two baths, 700 square feet are a great investment in today's market. And the way the building's designed. On your way out, you're going to get a key plate with the floor plan so you can understand how the building is sold. In the product that you see shaded in the light blue, it follows all the way up. So basically, the building tapers on the north every several floors. So on the back end, on the north side, you're going to see changing floor plans. But for the most part, on the south side, the product stays consistent. The Crestford Collection. For many of you in the room who know who Crestford is, we've done several buildings in the, in the neighborhood. Um, we've contributed 11 beautiful buildings. And what was interesting was when we were preparing for this presentation, we, we took a look to see, you know, how do we design, what are the right floor plans, what's going to create the best value for all the, for all the purchasers in the future, what, what are we lacking, what do we... What should we consider it? What was obvious when we looked around our buildings, there was limited supply even in our current product that extends from Young and Bloor to this, uh, to this specific location. We have contributed 3,600 units in this neighborhood. And out of all of the units that we've contributed, there are only 18 for sale. And out of the 18, very few are under a million dollars. So it goes to show you that that's a sweet spot in the market that you know, beyond 18 units on 3,600 means that, you know, we really need more product. In terms of rents, when I go out there and tell people, a lot of people estimate that we're still in the $4 range. $4 was my guess five years ago when we were building Vox and K 
CASA 3, and we used to tell people that one day in 2018 we'll be at $4 rent, and today we're well over $5, and in our buildings we're, we're hitting $6 a month in rent, which really justifies an increase in pricing that you're going to see over the next years to come. We gave away some purses, and it's only fair that you guys are the lucky ones. There was 1,200, 1,300 people in the room before. Now I, I, I see maybe 200, so you're going to get a big, better chance now to, to walk away with a beautiful purse this evening. They bought. They won. Uh, it wasn't staged, so let's hope. Let's see if, if this time it'll be a man, because some beautiful wife deserves a, a, a beautiful purse this evening. Ruby Son, right at home. Are you in the room? Oh, Ruby, you won a YSL purse. Thank you for coming this evening. That means you have to sell two units this week. Thank you very much. 